Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm in Novi Sad in Serbia to check out the new high speed line down to the capital of Belgrade. Come with me as we check out Serbia's new Soko train. Let's head inside. The station here has just been modernized and was opened along with the resumption of train services to Belgrade on the 19th of March 2022. The work was done as part of the railway modernization program of the entire line from Belgrade to Novi Sad and eventually will be completed all the way to Subotica, near the border with Hungary. The station features a ticket office, ticket machines, ATMs, some small shops and post collection. There's also a few plaques showcasing the construction of the 2022 upgrades, as well as the station and its line's history. Let's head up to platform level where our train awaits. We will be traveling on what's being called Serbia's first high speed line. While the max speed is 200 km per hour, it may be a little on the low end to be classified as true high speed rail. But it has now managed to cut journey times down to Belgrade from over 1 hour and 20 minutes down to just 36. of people taking pictures of the train, even two months after opening when I travelled on it. The Serbian people really seem proud of their new railway and it was really good to see them using it. And here's our train, one of three brand new Stadler Kiss trains acquired specifically for the express service on this line, now being branded as Soko. The train is now ready for boarding, so let's head on board. And here we are at my seat, number 21. We'll take a look at the seat a bit more in detail after we depart, but before we do that, let's have a look at the rest of the train. The train consists of four double-decker carriages, with doors at platform height for step-free boarding. This is still not that common in the Balkans, and it's great to see that this has been taken into consideration when the line has been upgraded. The toilets are located in the middle section between the carriages. However, you will also find an accessible toilet down on the low floor. The train also features luggage racks. and a small cafe vending machine area. And in addition to this, the staff will also come around at your seat and take orders for anything from the bar you would like. And this caught me by surprise. They have not just built one cafe vending machine area, there's actually two on a four car train. Before I forget, a quick peek at the toilet. The toilet is a bit narrow and cramped. But as you would expect from a new train, everything is clean and functional and in working order. So, no complaint from here. And right on time, at 2 o'clock, we depart from Novi Sad. 
And now, as we begin the 36 minute journey down to Belgrade Center Station, let's take a look at our route. I was traveling on board Soko train number 553 from Novi Sad down to Belgrade Center, which only makes a brief stop in New Belgrade before crossing the Sava River into Belgrade Center Station. The line from Novi Sad down to Belgrade Center Station is about 75 km long and will be completed in just 36 minutes, giving the train an average speed of 125 km per hour. Let's take a look at the seat. It features a nice big tray table that can definitely fit a laptop. There's a small seat pocket as well. And between the seats you will find two power outlets. And there's also a recline function. The trains also have Wi-Fi, but I forgot to check it out. The seats are comfortable and I wouldn't mind doing longer journeys in them. And now that we are comfortable in the seat, Let's have a look at the scenery towards Belgrade. This is the new Belgrade railway station, our only intermediate stop, and this also marks that the journey is coming to an end. From here it's just a quick hop over the creatively named new railway bridge crossing the Sava river before we arrive into Belgrade center. A return ticket in second class on the new Soko train will set you back 570 dinar or about 5 euros. Tickets can be bought online on the Serbian Railways website, albeit a bit of Google Translate is needed if you don't speak Serbian. And at the station in Novi Sad and Belgrade there are now ticket machines in English as well as a ticket office. 
At 5 euros for a return ticket to travel in such comfort, the railway has beat any competition from buses on this line in my books, and judging by how full the trains were, I think the Serbians agree. Sledeća stanica. Next station. Beograd centar. Približavamo se posljednjoj stanici. Molimo vas da se pripremite za izlazak. Srbija vozom želi prijetan boravak. We are approaching terminal station. We kindly ask passengers to prepare to exit. Serbia Voz wishes you a pleasant stay. <laughs> And we're here at Belgrade Center. It's great to see how much the Serbian railways have improved. I visited back in 2019 and since then it's great to see that they have improved by adding some ticket machines, modernizing their rolling stock and providing better information in English. We are rolling into the station next to a relatively new Stadler Flirt train, which run on many of the standard railway lines here. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to check my upcoming review on those. And with that, it's time to exit the train. I hope you have enjoyed this video, or found it helpful. I would really appreciate if you have, that you gave it a like, it really helped me a ton. If you want to follow my travels in real time, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. The link to do that is also in the description. Thanks for watching.